hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out this supposed cursed Egyptian relic. I'm going over today's science file, and today's science file, it says... Is the infamous Tut curse real? Well, that's a pretty wicked cool question, so hey, try this. You will need a plastic skeleton and some wrist and ankle gauze. Okay, you're gonna start by getting yourself the ankle gauze and you're gonna use that to wrap the main part of your mummy's body. Make sure to go all the way around the entire torso and then all the way over the hips as well. Use the gauze clips to clip the gauze in place. Now go ahead and use the wrist gauze to wrap around the mummy's arms all the way down and then you can either wrap it around the hands or just tie it off. Then do the same thing with the wrist gauze and wrap it all the way down the leg of the skeleton. Again, you can either put it over the feet or you can tie it off at the end. Now you can choose to wrap the skull or not, but I think wrapping the skull makes it look more realistic. So go ahead and wrap the wrist gauze all the way around the skeleton's skull. Again, you can use the gauze clips to hold it in place. Now find a dark and spooky place in your house to hang the decoration and voila! Now that is pretty wicked cool. So, is it really true that a disturbed, mummified body can actually carry with it a curse? Or is there really something else going on there? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Most of the deaths caused by the opening of Tut's tomb were caused by Stachybotrys, or toxic black mold due to inhalation of myotoxins that would have built up in the bloodstream. Since Tut was buried so quickly, his body would have not had the time most mummies would to dry out, and thus toxic black mold had a warm, moist place to form and grow over the 3,000 plus years that Tut was buried. With this much buildup, the explorers would have been exposed to a high enough level of myotoxins to poison them to death. Those who didn't go inside the tomb and still died came into contact with malaria, which was running rampant during the 1920s in that part of Egypt. If you got bitten by a mosquito that was carrying malaria, you would have contacted malaria and died. Some people who were connected to the discovery of Tut's tomb didn't die from disease or toxic buildup, but instead from committing suicide or being shot by their spouse. These are mental illnesses and they would have developed well before the discovery of Tut's tomb. Some people point to the lights going out at the same time that Lord Carnarvon died. However, at the time, the power plant constantly went on and off due to overdrawn electricity and the age of the power plant. A mummified body cannot carry a curse and there has been no, no scientific evidence of any such curse or curses. So now you know there's no such thing as an Egyptian mummy curse. You know, making your own mummified body decoration right at home is why science is so wicked cool.